Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today, at long last, we have the Season 7 Finale Shadow Play. It is an appropriately spooky title for being aired three days from Halloween, and I've played Shadow the Hedgehog. Trust me, if it's anything like that, it will be terrifying. It is our first two-parter since the Changelings discovered rainbows, and I don't think they would bring Chrissy back that fast, so I wonder who our big bad is, if anyone at all. I'm interested to see if they make good on the legend theme they've had in the back half of the season. All the characters in the myths they shared disappeared, and it makes me wonder if we're gonna see time travel come back up. That would make for a weird reaction from Starlight, though. But it would make sense to see something like that, though, because Season 5, they introduced Starlight, and then we saw her in the backgrounds of some episodes. So the finale felt like a natural conclusion. Season 6, early on, hinted at a changeling entering the Crystal Empire, and then we found Thorax. So a finale in the Hive felt earned. It's been a trend to make finales broader than a simple one-off, not since T-Rex. And I can't think of anything else that would act as a proper lead-in for the finale. That is, unless Starlight is trying out necromancy. Anyway, we have two episodes in front of us, and I have a lot of editing afterward, and not enough time to do it comfortably. So let's get started. Alright. The best elements within us can spread light and virtue. And I know- Okay, the book? ...represent them all. Strength. Bravery. Healing. Yeah, they are back. Hope and sorcery. Oh, snap! Oh! And these pillars of Equestria were gathered together by another to maintain and share the light of these powerful ideas. Holy crap! Starlight! Star Swirl! God. Who brought us together only wanted that power for himself. And Mod's brother! Cast out and alone, this power-mad pony turned to darkness to satisfy his thirst. Oh no, Anakin! To a pony of shadows, he returned for revenge. Sombra? To extinguish the pillar's light and rob the world of hope. To stop him, the oh my God. must make a brave sacrifice. Yeah. But we shall leave behind a seed in hopes that one day, Holy crap! Grow into a force to stand against the darkness for all time. Did they become the we elements? Now face the fiend with the only plan we. Did have. they make make the tree? I only hope it will be enough. Yeah, he's reading. I, I figured he was reading that. And maybe Star Swirl's final words before he vanished. Oh wow! Well, he disappeared. They all dis disappeared. Okay. <laughs> I I was under the impression. That all those ponies lived in different time periods. I did not think they were together and fight fighting together, which makes a lot of sense now because they all evoked the elements. Our main six, so I guess they created the elements, and our main six here are kind of, if not the reincarnation, then the modern analog. I've always wondered what happened to Star Swirl. <laughs> this is quite a discovery, son. I've always wondered what happened to that guy. If it's genuine. You can verify that this journal really belonged to Star Swirl the Bearded? Indeed. From the looks of it, the last thing he wrote before facing the Pony of Shadows. He just went out for so cigarettes one day and he was gone. It's so crazy. Really real? It appears so. We never met the other pillars, and we were too young to understand the danger they faced. Oh. All those legendary ponies were real too. You were young once. Star Swirl to face the Pony of Shadows, and then none of them were ever heard from again. I don't believe it. Yeah. Weren't you listening? But what happened to them all? They must have defeated the <laughs> since Equestria is still full of. They had to hope. zoom in on Fluttershy because she was and so quiet. My old ponish is a bit rusty. But I wonder if the answers can be found somewhere within the pages of this book. Oh, Twilight well, and some birds can speak it. Happen to be an expert in old ponish. Yeah. I practically memorized every ancient text about Star Swirl there is. Seriously. Look at that reference, the oh. episode twenty-four. We have fond memories of our old teacher. If you could discover what happened to him, we would be most grateful. Teacher, is that was that canonical? Solving a thousands-year-old mystery could take forever. Think of the research, the re-reading. Like I don't remember. Re-re-reading. 
You might find you. Think of the remakes. Luckily, she's got a whole. And the remakes of remakes. Right here. Totally. Uh, how long will all this research take exactly? Let's get this back to my library. I'm sure we'll figure out what happened in no time. <laughs> well, Rainbow, if it's anything like a PhD, then you're looking at three to five years. Figure it out yet, Twilight? I'm just chewing on this eraser. Uh, what did you figure out? I've grown accustomed to the taste. What is it? She stuck a cupcake in her eye. Nothing. I mean, Star Swirl was a genius, obviously. But forget old Peach. <laughs> There's parts where his horn writing is like another language. He's a genius, oh. like me. Uh, Twilight, we've been studying and referencing and cross-referencing for three days straight now. Oh god, it's finals I week. I spent as much time reading since the last Daring Do book came out. Yep, uh, uh, yep. Take a break. This mystery is over a thousand years old. Oh, she's got her glasses on. Another day or two won't make a difference. Two days? I don't want to waste two seconds. I don't want to wait. I'm close for to our life. I can feel it. Herk Silfum Se Ponehenge. What's that? The Temple of Ponehenge? You can Oh my that. god. Ponehenge. The writing's pretty sloppy, but it's nowhere near as bad as mine. Please. Dull Grimlick of Fola. We need mod for those big rocks. The base of Full Mountain. Usur Endemest Shield. Oh yeah, she can't read. Stand. Old Ponish, but she can phonetically. Oh, that sure sounds like a clue to me. <laughs> Spike's like, I'm gonna sit this episode out. You guys go ahead. Yes. This is it, Ponehenge. I can't believe it. No, we need a, a rock expert. I've never seen magical runes like these before. Have you? Uh-uh. You just learned a new Skyrim shout. I don't think any pony's seen any of this for a long time. That looks freshly remodeled to me. It'd take a whole team of ponies to clear away all this brush. <laughs> I'm not sure we'd find out what happened here over a thousand years ago. Please, Fluttershy, be gentle. Uh, you're right. I suppose it was a long shot. Cheer up, Twilight. She'd Twilight never make it as an archaeologist. Pretty impressive. Or maybe you could write a paper on it. I guess I hoped we'd get here and the mystery would just magically be explained. <laughs> uh, Twilight? The writers were like, oh yeah, we can do that. We have the power. We're omnipotent. And also we have a time budget. Star Swirl? I I've wanted to meet you my whole life. I can't believe you're here. Projection. Like a uh, Leia. I Twilight. Think he is here. You're my only hope. I don't think any of them are. Oh. It's like the Star Summit in Paper Mario. Oh, it's a recording, okay. Ooh, nice! You summon me at your peril, Star Swirl! Once I defeat all of you, this realm will embrace the darkness as I, I did don't, so long ago. I don't know about that voice. Like, the effects on it are cool, but I... I feel like they should have gotten someone else. Join me here will only make me stronger. You will never defeat me. We did not come here to defeat you. It's a neat design. That's a good voice for Star Swirl. <laughs> and my flower. And my... What does he have? We came to contain you. Is that a shovel? And my shovel. Oh no. Those were the elements back then. Well, you did ask for a magical explanation! So they did a, a crystal empire. Banished for a thousand years sort of thing? Uh, what just happened? It looked like Star Swirl cast a spell that banished the Pony of Shadows. Yeah. Of course. Powerful magic like that would leave an impression on this place. It left an impression on me, Sunburst. Let's see what happened. Which was what? 
Star Swirl and the rest of the pillars sacrificed themselves to save Equestria. Yeah, they all went with him. It's a oh, Lyrabon! One of the Yay. greatest mysteries of Equestria was solved with a musty old book from an antique shop. But I, I think that's how it always goes. Solved. Star Swirl's spell was one of the most powerful feats of magic in all of history. It'll take years of study before we fully understand it. Twilight's doing it right now. I understand Star Swirl's spell! Oh, okay. Close. I know I finished I wanted them to walk in with Twilight course, just... But this one was on a whole different... Bringing level. everyone what? out of Imagine wherever they went. An evocation? A kind of incantation? It's Star Swirl, so the possibilities are endless! Oh, nice loop to loop. Twilight set me on the right track with his crazy horn riding. <laughs> I mean, he was a genius. Oh. So I guess we can forgive a little messiness. I went through the journal again, and it's amazing. I like your little snort. <laughs> Read it, Applejack. We understand you're excited, but that's all we understand. What exactly is so amazing? Only how Star Swirl and the other pillars sent the Pony of Shadows to limbo. They did well. Oh. Now. Good game. Inside was very they cool. Used their magic to open a portal between worlds to limbo and pulled the pony of shadows inside. Play that studio is great oh, developers. Mama, I made more. <laughs> Star Swirl thought the only way to trap the pony of shadows in limbo was for the pillars to take him there. That's really nice. They got stuck too. The pony of shadows must have been really awful for them to do that. Everybody's trapped. I suppose being trapped for all time with a super duper bad guy in limbo might be okay if you were doing the limbo. <laughs> but that's still pushing it. Good the visual, is, Pinky. I think I can get them out. Yeah, just play a Monopoly with the Light, evil serious? shadow guy. Good can times. You save the most legendary ponies of all time? I don't know. Opening portals between worlds didn't work out well for me. <laughs> Are you sure it's safe? It'll be fine! All, you opened portals through time. And second of all, Star Swirl wrote the spell you used to do it. If he'd been here, he could have stopped it. Temporal magic. Astra would be safer with him in it. And planar travel. To Two very different things. You'd be saving all the pillars, right? And they disappeared ages ago. Because the planes of existence. It isn't one place or another. It's in between. So time stands still. If we can oh, okay. out, it'll be like they never left. I actually built another model to demonstrate. Ugh. So they're what not actually if I'm right, stuck there battling evil the for a thousand years. You mean like stuff that belonged to them? How would we know what to look for? Or where? Luckily, Star You've been took a lot of notes. To some of their places, right? The compatriots are as varied as the realm itself and hail from every corner of our land, bringing with them artifacts and talismans of great power. Um, yeah. Light, what are you doing? The are elements doing of anything? awesome. Rock of shovel. Shovel. This is shield. Miss Main's flower. Meadowbrook's The mother. thousand year flower. My favorite RPG. I guess we don't need to figure out who should get what. I know where the mask is. I think we've seen that in action. Hey, it's Burke! It's a mighty helm headpiece! Maybe it belonged to Rockhoof himself! Let's is that the pony? Helmets. This belonged to a real pony. From the cold what open of that one episode where her parents Rockhoof are pirates? As real as you and me. <laughs> and I suppose that Ravine was dug with his trusty shovel to save the village from an erupting volcano. Probably. Look, Miss Seaweed Harshwinny. Legends as much as any pony, but a pony strong enough to save a village from rushing lava with a shovel is. Is that Indiana Jones? I think it is. And the and he let a boulder loose. Um. Um. I can't believe you just did that. Uh, you say me just... either? I bet if you told some pony else the story, it might sound <gasps> preposterous. I saw it happen. It, it does seem pretty preposterous. That's that's a little. I suppose some stories might be true. Above your caliber, Applejack. Rock hoofs appears to be one of them. Those fillies are on the best vacation ever. Hey! 
I wonder if this might be the flower. You keep those hooves to yourself, dearie. Oh. This place has been in my family for generations. And I'm not about to let some whippersnapper take the last good piece of it. Look, Time Granny was, Flower. Ponies came from far and wide to see these gardens. But that flower's the only worthwhile thing left. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're worth something, Granny. Did she have a, a, a curved horn? It looked like she kind of did. Which is interesting. Yeah, she does! Seemed like your gardens were worthless, but a little pruning can work wonders. Like the legend! And, of course, okay. You have to look after more than just one flower now. You've given me back my family's legacy. Legacy? What is a legacy? Like a fair tree for that. Alright, yes, here's my priceless immortal flower. Alright, Rarity with her generosity. Up in the Applejack exhibiting honesty by kicking a rock. To the dragons to help you navigate our customs. Like our favorite sport, guard surfing! And now our two rainbow dashes will show us the true meaning of loyalty. Well, that is pretty cool, actually. I'm down with that. That's fine. Dragon Lord Ember commanded us to make peace <coughs> with ponies, but it doesn't mean you can surf in our spot. No, 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 no. As the official equestrian friendship ambassador to the dragons, I have to say that's not very friendly. That that's well, not the voice. No. You, you're you're dragon kidding me. Sticking up for his pony pal. Was that just Kathy doing a slightly hey, deeper spike? Ancient pony artifact. Hooks off my gorge board! I found it in the desert, and finders keepers! It isn't yours! Huh, it hey, looks like mine. He called uh, finders keepers. I consider racing you for it. That's a rule that no problem. extends beyond um, language and race. You. <laughs> it's a universal constant. It's like calling shotgun. Or dibs. I mean, it's probably good that Rainbow didn't race him. Get set, Look, you failed cloning experiment with Spike. I can't take you seriously. <laughs> I won. I won. Yeah. If Frodo and Sam just did that down Mount Doom, we wouldn't need eagles. Only commanded us to be nice to ponies. She never said anything about pony-loving dragons. Oh, he's smart enough to find loopholes Since in political Dragon decrees. Since commanded you to make peace with ponies, you can't very well attack one of their friends, can you? Spike has diplomatic immunity. We'll find out. That's a, that's a crime. <laughs> Why is he always hiding behind ponies? I wasn't hiding when I beat you down the ridge. They're bigger than me. Well, it's hard not well, to. You must be slow if all Spike had to do to win was fall down. I'm faster than you. Doubt it. Fine. It must be really I'll hot right there. The if you win, you can have your pony junk. But if I win... Look, don't talk win. to me about pony junk. I get to give it to him. Fine. I'm pretty sure I could beat you anyway, but... With that heavy hunk of metal on your back, it'll The temperature be is just snap. scalding. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the tip. See you at the top, loser! Nothing says loyalty like... Tricking a dragon there. into dropping a shield. Mine. Finders keepers, remember? See, because that's what you said to them when they first showed up. Oh, my God. He got you, bro. Hey, this dude. Bzz, bzz. Yeah, that one's easy. Remember not to turn away from them, Cattail. Flash bees can get pretty aggressive. We knew exactly That's where they were. The bayou animals can get to the water. Oh, Wouldn't the little frogs. Sense for you to wear the mask that calms the bees. It would. I don't want to be stung. If I didn't have to fly up here to move their hive. No chances. There. Oh, kindness. Now the other bayou creatures can get to the water without the bees feeling threatened. Look at that. 
all the elements on display. To help with this, I would have lent you the mask anyway. I know, <laughs> but I couldn't leave without helping. Oh, who needs Star Swirl and all his friends? Find anything in there. I wouldn't give up hope. Just we got the best ones right here. I feel like there's more than there used to be. This old blindfold was stuck in the drain. <laughs> Weren't you looking for a blindfold? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. Her face just starts melting off. I can't believe Star Swirl the Bearded. You know, outside of my dreams. I can't believe you're actually going through with it. What do you mean? I'm all for pushing the envelope. I want to see Twilight's dreams. But this is pretty out there for you, Twilight. What's out there about saving the most legendary ponies of all time from a thousands-year-old prison? Well, not Because there's more than just them in the prison. Unless the most legendary ponies of all time knew what they were doing, and we shouldn't mess with it. There's an evil... Sure Star Swirl and the Pillars did the best they could back then. Demonic shadow creature in there. A long way, mostly because of the work they did. And who knows what else? And you did get your wings from finishing one of Star Swirl's spells. Exactly. Yeah. But then I messed with one and nearly destroyed the universe, so... Starlight. Look. Star Swirl the Bearded is the greatest the universe, ever lived. My wings. To have him back in Equestria is worth the risk. That's equivalent it's exchange. My uh, wings are I worth the world. Shield for nothing. I hope you don't think you're the only one to find her artifact. Because this here shovel says otherwise. Yeah. Oh, she didn't stick it in the crack. Everything is a competition. But Miss Main's flower is by far the most attractive of the artifacts. You're just saying that because you didn't have to scuba dive in a pit of green slime to get yours. Or a flash beehive. Piggy visited Nickelodeon. Let's do this. I hope Fluttershy keeps the mask on. For the ritual. Aw. Alright. Nice little hexagon. Oh. Oh god. That was easy. What? what oh, Twilight's that? holding the rock with her magic. It worked! We brought you back! Oh no, it's Where? just gone. You and the others have been trapped in limbo for over a thousand years, but I figured out how to get you- I hope Star Swirl's a dick! No, 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 no! You must undo what you've done! What? Like, hard reset. I mean, He's just a I cynical- can. You cannot bring us back! But I did! I brought all the pillars back! You cannot bring only the pillars back! Yeah, you just- <laughs> We- we took a big shadow dude with us. It's not, it's not a pick and choose situation. Oh, it's an alicorn. Oh, no. Shadow corn, I've seen Trixie Sparkle. Oh my God. Yeah, obviously. You read the story. You know that they're in limbo exists. Star Swirl, his friends, and also the thing to end the world. But nah. We could just be like, hey, can you stay in there, please? We just want these guys. All right. Uh, do you have your passport on you? No. Ooh, sorry. We're going to have to detain you. What did you think was going to happen? Is Starlight going to have to save the day because she's the one talking sense? Because Twilight's not thinking, apparently. She left her brain back in the library after five days of nonstop research. All right, so, so we... So we discovered history, and then we went and collected the artifacts, and now we have a villain. That's kind of a late introduction to be bringing in a group of six ponies and the villain all at once at the halfway point. I feel like the, the second half of the episode wasn't totally necessary. I know they're obviously the six of them all had a part to play and exhibited their elements. And they all have their legends that match up with them, pretty much, give or take. But I feel like if we did the ritual in the middle and then had this extra half an episode to maybe develop those new characters, it would be a little cooler. But we have a full episode left, so let's get to it and see what they do with this. 
All right, previously on My Little Pony. That's the last entry. Star Swirl's final words before I forgot finished. that finales and premieres do this thing. Two, and then none of them were ever heard from again. They used I the was not prepared. To limbo. <laughs> Watching two full episodes. Because it's just going to be the, the background and the intro song again. Oh, God, it's my worst nightmare. It's like I'm trapped in limbo. I'm just living the same nightmare over and over again. And the nightmare's going to start right now. Oh, God. I see this in my waking nightmares. My little pony. Everything's terrible. Derpy's having a fun time in the top of the train, though. So that's good. Alright, so Star Swirl and some Namula and Rock Hoof. I forgot. Mist Main, that's one of them. Uh, let's see what their uh, characters are actually like, because we only have stories to go on. Now we got the real living things. Also, there's a Shadow Demon, so that's cool. <laughs> Your pitiful attempt to imprison me has failed, Star Swirl. His voice is just a little weird. You must return us to Limbo. It's the only way to stop. Like, it's not too menacing. Fluttershy is terrified. Working on it. No table of contents. Allow me <laughs> to assist. Come on, Star Swirl. Step your game up. Catalog better. Oh, man. Call him Rock Smasher. Without the power of Bonehenge, your banishing spell is useless. You have studied my writings. Surely you have some other plan. No. I don't I actually. Save you. And don't I call me Shirley. Regret. When I extinguish the light and hope of this miserable world, you won't remember any of this. Are you saying there's gonna be eternal night? This one is almost as strong as you, stars were. But even my weakened state, she cannot stop the oh, shadow. Oh, weakened state. I was like, are you serious? Twilight can take you one-on-one? -on -one? That's kind of... Lucky for her, she's not alone. Underwhelming, if so. Yeah, get him, Starlight. Know <laughs> this, fiend. We will not rest until we find a way to return you to Limbo. I mean, just attack him now. Your days of glory are through, Starswell. Now my dark power will reign. And you six will bow to me! You got tons of magic with you. No counterspell. Um, where'd he go? That is a riddle we must unravel. And quickly. Oh my god. I love her. We've been gone. Over a thousand years. He just Sonic Shadow Boomed. Then my spell worked. Before it was meddled with. And the realm has been at peace for. Oh no! Twilight's idol! to save everybody from Nightmare Moon and Discord and Chrysalis and King Sombra and Lord T-Rex and there was that one time when Starlight traveled through time and almost destroyed <laughs> But that's all in the past. Look, don't if ruin this for me. This accomplished, we will stop the Pony of Shadows twice as fast together. Oh no, there's two we of them now. See. It is an easy thing to say you have saved the world. It is quite another to do it. Oh, I like Star Swirl. Save the world, Beardo. And we can do it again. Be that as it may, the problem of locating the Pony of Shadows remains. Is this where Twilight realizes idols aren't always... Sounds like you need a map. Luckily, we have just the thing. What you believe them to be? Something about this magic seems familiar. Oh, God. I had a glitch in my playback. Did you know he can do that? Oh, my God. Star Swirl, he can do anything. <laughs> this map, Twilight, don't indeed, put so much faith. This very castle are grown from the seed we planted over a thousand years ago. Then it did work. Uh, what worked? They did, oh, they made the elements and everything. Crystal seed with our magic in hopes that it would grow into a force for good. We wanted to leave... I want her to narrate a book. Realm ...in our absence, but we never dreamed our gift would become so powerful. Y'all mean the elements came from you? Yes, they are our babies. You know! The sparkly crystal things that grow from the tree of harmony and represent each of us? <laughs> Laughter, honesty, <laughs> loyalty, kindness, and magic. That's, that is an image people will take out of context. They are reflections of our own elements of hope, strength, oh. beauty, bravery, healing, and sorcery. Nice. 
the we classic had elements. No idea our small seed would bloom into the living spirit of the land. Cooler than our newfangled. Glad our mantles have passed to such capable ponies. More laughter. We Blech. no longer need ponehens to send our foe back to limbo. We can use the stored magic in this yeah. Of harmony. Use the elements. Doesn't a banishing spell take a lot of power? It's been a while. Sacrifice the elements for that. Mm hmm. They'd be gone forever. Star Swirl. You haven't used them in the forever. Survive without the elements. If it dies, Equestria will suffer. If the Pony of Shadows has his way, your land will not exist. So it'll be fine. Her idea. Celestia is capable. You beat Starlight without him. Our foe will seek dark places from which to draw power. Always making shadows everywhere. My spell, so that we may strike as soon as you find him. What are we waiting for? I like your spirit. Oh, oh God. Oh, yeah. All right, Mr. Flash. Now you're stealing the flying waifu. What about this one. Sea pony etiquette isn't going to help right now, Spike. You never know. Twilight? Table manners are always important, Twilight. I just unleashed ultimate evil and doomed Equestria because I was obsessed with meeting my idol. Why wouldn't I be okay? I've been there, done that. No, that was gonna happen. But I should have. I did. Things alone. Now the elements of harmony will be lost to fix my mistake. Maybe there's another way. If there is, Twilight will find it. There has to be a better way. Portal gate, portal keys, portal spells. Portal 2? Yes. Hey, a walkthrough! Pillars can hold open the gateway to Limbo. A powerful pony can do the banishing spell herself. Do you know what this means? Really? That was in the portal book? Stop carrying books. The pillars don't have to leave Equestria. Even though we'll lose the elements, we'll have the ponies that created them. And the Pony of Shadows will be banished for Oh, wow. Good. Wait, we just have a book That's that just answers great. all our problems. Good. But I was thinking of another way that maybe doesn't involve banishing at all. But will the Squirrel knew what he was doing when he cast that spell. If I can make it even better, maybe he'll see that I take magic as seriously as he does. If Star Swirl and friends are still in here, they're I want to see them acclimate to the new world. The dark place that Star Swirl indicated on the map have changed. I bet the Pony of Shadows would have loved the ghastly cavern. This is like Thor the coming to Earth. Erosion turned it into the ghastly gorge. The Appaloosian wastes sure sounded dark. Oh my God, that's adorable. Who knew they would become such a popular square dancing destination? And I. Oh, Brayburn. This part of the quest where used to be cast an eternal night, where the Pony of Shadows could draw power and wreak havoc while ponies were powerless to stop them. But. Oh, paradise. <laughs> <laughs> it's the city that never sleeps. Because it's always bedtime. It seems there are fewer dark corners in the realm. It's kind of ironic. Isn't that a good thing? True. The Pony of Shadows will have a hard time regaining power. When he rears his head, yeah. we'll be ready. Yeah, down inside her with Rainbow Dash. Can we to banish him without losing all of you? Oh, I wish there were. But oh. to save our home, we are willing to leave it. I, I want to see these interactions. My spell isn't finished yet, but I think we can send the Pony of Shadows to Limbo without all of you having to go as well. The two groups together. It's really well, cool. I appreciate your enthusiasm, Twilight. This is hardly the time to take risks on half-baked spells. Oh, don't put Twilight down. Begging your pardon, Mr. The Bearded, but Twilight <laughs> doesn't do anything halfway. You show him, Applejack. Actually, not magic. Respectfully. Jeez. She got her wings by finishing one of your spells. I think you yeah. find her work is worth reading before you dismiss it out of hoof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's an unconventional approach. I believe it could work. The most assertive. Mm -hmm. there is a chance. The Fluttersh I could muster. But we still have no idea where to find the villain. Oh, or our friendly neighborhood map will help. Maybe we should try there? It looks pretty evil to me. Thank goodness we saved some time there. I think a branch of the Apple family lives there. Uh, they have to be pretty distant. The Hollow Shades was abandoned eons ago. Who would have ever thought that the Shadow Pony would go to the Hollow Shades? That's... One place was Starlight's Village. So crazy. So it's like a super villain tracker. No offense. <laughs> Do you think the map could be trying to tell us where the Pony of Shadows is? Hmm. The map points us to two parters. Acting to protect the light of the realm. Yes, 
A good thought, Twilight. I will oh make my, my God. On this spell. Ready yourselves for battle. Uh, I know She's I'm not so as happy. As all of you, but is banishment really the only option? I mean, it's been a long time. Maybe the Pony of Shadows is ready to talk. I mean, we could go with execution. Homeland with a conversation. I've always found that that Starlight. is much more I'm effective sure in the Starlight's long run. The others did try. The Pony of Shadows was not interested in reconciliation. Once a villain, always a villain. Or in good naming strategies. I wish to refine this spell for our use. Come, we must prepare for the struggle ahead. They should call her Starlight the Merciful. I know Star Swirl is a great wizard, but this whole plan seems wrong. The map's only ever sent us to solve friendship problems. Maybe so. That's a good but point. The Pony of Shadows doesn't really seem like the friendship type. The map is kind of... We don't know anything about him. No pony does. That's not entirely true. <laughs> yeah, those guys know him. He used to be little... He was their spike, I think. According to the intro. Shadows before he became what he is now. You must have been friends, so what happened? The tale of our rift is a sad one. Oh. Um... Um, hello, hi, Adagio, long time no see, a hunchback pony, what's his story? Stygian was a pony like the rest of us, though more scholar than hero. More scrawny. The emerging world would need champions to defend it. He had a very thin neck. Oh man, they are bigger than I thought they were actually. <laughs> Oh my god. Have a music battle! It's the only way to beat them! He may Gets them every time. Together, but he himself was just an ordinary unicorn who soon grew jealous of our abilities. Why didn't they send the Shadow Pony to, to Earth like the sirens? Artifacts to use in a spell. They did, he's the president. We cast him out for it. Oh goodness. We always thought to return and seek forgiveness. But when oh, the old castle. Again, his heart was bent on revenge. Oh, God. Um. Even my hope of saving him. Sir, you've got a little something. But uh, it's a, looks like a like viral condition. No doubt it was an enchantment to take our powers for himself. Does she just wear that casually everywhere? All right, so Stygian. That looks like a lot of work. It is what must be done, and it would be best if we were not disturbed. Wanted power? I'm sorry, Starlight, but we can't stop the talk. The stakes are too high, and we have to banish Stygian to limbo. I get it. Uh, yeah. Stygian was the name the Pony of Shadows gave up when he turned to darkness. And He's I'm now the artist formerly that? known as Stygian. Envy. He wanted more power than he had. And that desire led him down a path from which there is no return. I know from experience no return. that's not always true. When the map called you six to my village, it Unless was a friendship Unless you're Starlight or Discord sure or I... Trixie. Stygian wants to destroy all that is good in this world. There's no way to befriend a pony like that. Or Luna. I guess I'm lucky your idol wasn't around when you decided to be my friend. I might have been banished to Limbo too. Oh, oh man. Starlight. Once again, the hero of the finale, I think. A chance to see what has grown from our efforts. Seems so where it's going. Go. It seems a shame to harm it. A necessary sacrifice. With the element's power, we will bind the Pony of Shadows in Limbo. And thanks to Twilight, we will remain to watch over the realm ourselves. It'll be fine. Nothing bad happened last time. There wasn't a season premiere where... We had to put it back, otherwise, you know, terrible uh, atrocities. How do we use them? Well, you... Oh, I'm not sure. They simply work for us. The elements are attuned to you. <laughs> we must use their magic in pairs. No problem. Oh, nice. We're used to banishing evil before breakfast. And it'll be an honor to save Equestria with y'all. Double rainbow time. I really hope Twilight knows what she's doing. Team old, team new, both attacking. 
Uh, I don't remember reading anything that said the Hollow Shades was like this. Oh, the Pony of Shadows must have twisted it to his purposes. That also explains New Jersey. Prepare yourselves. He is here. This is kind of dusk. Show yourself and face us! <laughs> oh, he's in the well! Like Pennywise! Or not. Oh, there's the hollow! See hollow shades! Perfect! This seems familiar. I definitely would have remembered reading about this. <laughs> that is no orc horn. All right. I like the effects here. The well of shame. They're pretty cool. When you turned your backs on me, I discovered this place. The darkness spoke to me of a power beyond any I could imagine, and I listened. He looks a little doofy, but came one. Soon, all of the realm will be the same. Then all ponies will feel the despair I did when you cast me out. I like how his mouth works. We had to do. You tried to steal our powers for yourself. We can see holes in the back where it's like coming apart and reforming. You will pay. He's got a cool. Still sure this isn't a friendship problem? Curvy horn. I like this guy. Open the portal. I hope he wins. Now. My magic item is a blindfold. Beware. Oh no! Face the rainbow! You will not trap me again! Twilight, push him in! I'm gonna hold on to these edges! Which I can definitely grab onto. There's a pony in there! Oh. Twilight's in the darkness! Are you Stygian? I was, once, until my friends betrayed me. Ooh, but twist! The first world says you betrayed them! You wanted their magic! No, I wanted their respect. I brought them to I like his voice. I planned strategy and I read all I could about the beasts we faced. But I didn't have magic or strength. So no pony ever noticed me. Oh, he was their tactician. I went to Ponehenge to make my own copies of the artifacts. With them, I thought I could be a pillar too. Their manager. Their side in battle. I never wanted to steal their power. But instead of sharing... It's like the Incredibles. My friends threw me out. So I became stronger than any. I wanted to be like you! It's welcome to me when no pony would. And I will do what I must to protect it. This is all a misunderstanding. Ooh, really good effects. The pillars knew how you felt. I'm nice job, DHX. On you. The shadow isn't who you really are. Let me help you be Stygian again. Even if my Let me show you the light! Still care. What makes you think you have the power to help me? Because it's what she does. I wasn't there so we go. different from you, and Twilight helped me change. Hey, Starlight, reform villain. Also, uh, how's it going? It's her. I, I want to believe you, but the darkness will not be stopped. Oh boy, fight! Lasso of Truth. Wonder Woman's very popular right now. Fight the darkness, Digian. You don't need it anymore. Revenge isn't what you want. Friendship is. Embrace the light. Where? Do Celestia and Luna know that they're even alive? Did we ever alert them? Send a message? The shadow won't let go of him. He wants to stop, but he can't do it alone. I feel like the goddess of the sun could help here. Yeah. They get extra power from just physical contact. Oh, we banished the shadow itself. Good job. Very effective. <sighs> Twilight, you can fly. Yeah! Oh, it felt so good. <laughs> Do that again. Friendship power rush. Airdrop. Good old the stone earth. fist they hoof. They disappear. Maybe because we use them for healing magic instead of banishing. Look. Yeah. All right. Sure. Everyone wins. Long ago, you needed our help, Stygian. But instead of listening, we turned our backs on you. Pride clouded my judgment. And everyone's still here. Apology. Thank you for helping us see the errors of our ways, Twilight. Are they going to stick around? I never accounted for the magic 
of friendship. Thank you, Swirl Star. Uh, Star Swirl. Oh no, you messed up, Twilight. Go back in time. Repeat that statement. Um, fix everything. Oh, so apparently a conversation can save Equestria. <laughs> Something tells me I will be making a lot of apologies today. That smug little grin. Yeah, apologize to everyone who's annoyed by people wearing your costume on Nightmare Night. You've gotten. Well, it has been over a thousand years. Will you stay here and teach magic once again? You don't look My a day over four hundred. Fond memories of your lessons. As long as you don't ask for those essays we owed you before you disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not certain Cantalot is where I- I want a friendship report every the week! has grown, and I believe I'll have a look around before I settle in any one place. And I'm Ooh. going to see what has become of my home. I believe we- It's not good! Home. You've got one dude living there. I return to Canterlot on occasion, and share the wisdom of your great experience with the next generation of- Everything else is empty swamp! We would be honored, but if it is wisdom you seek, look no further than your own pupil. She showed me <laughs> the power of friendship is a magical force indeed. Yeah, screw Starlight. She doesn't know anything. From others, you hurt yourself as well. She contributed nothing to this. It's funny. I thought meeting my idol would give me all the answers I ever wanted, but instead, I forgot what I already knew. Good thing I had Ooh. a student of my Good own statement. to remind me. I like that. Oh, we're gonna end on. Oh, we ended on just. Twilight and Starlight hugging, okay. So they're all just there now. That's a lot of possibilities for season eight. Seeing this entire new group of characters just hanging out. I wonder if each one gets an episode to themselves. I, I really, I like the idea of seeing them acclimate to what the world's become after a thousand years. That's just, that's just a fun thing to, to do, but all six of them doing it would probably be redundant. I, mm, that was really neat. The sirens were there. That was a cool scene. Good job. Nice call back on that one. And they just, yeah, banished them to the worst sort of limbo high school, the worst limbo. I don't know though. I feel like I wanted it to be better after seeing that intro on the first episode. I feel like they took too long to get started with the back half of the first episode, with them finding all the artifacts. It, it was obvious character moments, but it still felt kind of like padding when you could have had that time giving a, a better introduction to this new cast of not as colorful and much older element bearers. Allow me to interject here before I sound too harsh on things. My criticisms come with an asterisk because this is definitely the most fun I've had with an episode since at least number 14. But since they're still here, uh, I guess we have room to grow. That is quite interesting. I did think it was likely that they would not be sticking around, that they would have to go back from whence they came or something. But they can't go back in time to where they were when they left off because that would completely change the future as we've seen. So I guess this was the inevitable conclusion because we couldn't just stick them in limbo forever and they can't go to the whatever afterlife analog we want to use because that'd be a little too deep. So now they're just hanging out. Star Swirl the Beard are just, you know, hanging out. Did you ever think of that? Season 2, Episode 4, Luna Eclipsed, Twilight dressing up as the ancient Star Swirl the Bearded. Oh yeah, one day we'll just see him. He'll just talk to her and it'll be great. His fun times, hanging out with old beard guy. I wonder if she got his outfit right. Because she was very picky about that in that episode, I think. Someone make that comparison. Someone shame her or congratulate her. Or maybe they... Oh, that'd be great if they brought it up in an episode, actually. If they actually had uh, Star Swirl see Twilight's costume. That's just fun. There's so many fun things that could happen now. It's also very weird, still. I guess the other five, not as much because we only just learned about them in the past several episodes. But Star Swirl has been this name, this guy who lived and then was gone and then existed in memory for his grand magic. And him just being there is, I don't know, it's kind of wrong. Like he knows the princesses from a thousand years back. It's just a, a crazy thing in this storyline. Maybe we can see 
Celestia, Luna, and Star Swirl having a chat over pancakes and regular cakes. Celestia will eat all of them, obviously, but... I'm already four minutes into the outro here, so I guess I'll just continue instead of actually segueing. This was a big episode. It was a fun episode. I liked it a lot. It also felt like the most rush finale since season three to me. As an introduction of these characters to the world, it fits. But as a self-contained storyline, it felt lackluster to get such a direct, shallow representation of them. Just little tidbits of dialogue in this way. We did get a decent chunk of Star Swirl, but even then, not a ton of substance. On top of that, Stygian's backstory had to be crammed in there real fast, and he never felt like an actual threatening villain. Partly because he didn't actually do anything. We did not see him cause actual damage to anyone or anything. Even with Sombra, we saw him enslave an entire city in his backstory, but we didn't even get that sort of stuff. They did give him something with that tragic, misunderstanding background, but we've grown kind of accustomed to that. So all we really had to go on was style, and he did look pretty cool, I will admit. But speaking of Sombra, a lot like that, he felt like more of a plot device than a real interesting villain. And hopefully he'll grow to be an interesting character. And that's where the real power of this finale probably lies, is in the future. We have this set of potentially interesting characters to spice things up. I doubt we'll get a major focus on them, but I imagine they have several episodes planned. Segwaying a bit here, something I realized a bit later on is how the parallels extend beyond simply the characters having similar elements. The entire premise, that whole scenario, was reminiscent of the premiere of Generation 4 to a degree, with the main six taking on Nightmare Moon. We had to get our band together to use the elements to take out a creature who was corrupted by jealousy. One who took on the form of an alicorn who was threatening to cast the world into darkness. It's a big, history repeats itself moment, and that's a really cool side effect. The major difference being that the old guard used their artifacts for banishment while the elements healed Luna. I guess if Twilight and friends had deliberately tried to banish Luna instead, it implies the elements would have broken back then. But they had the magic of friendship on their side, while Star Swirl and crew did not. That harkens back to the Season 3 finale, where Star Swirl could not finish that spell that Twilight could because of what she had learned over her adventures with her friends. It's really neat, and there's a whole lot of lore stuff with Star Swirl that I'm not gonna get into. Other people surely can and surely have. I'm more here to judge the execution of the episode itself. There's potential for a lot of comedy and interesting moments and really fun interactions between the old ponies and our main cast. In a way, a lot of this felt like set up like a segue into future episodes. But at the same time, it closed off a multiple episode Legends of Equestria themed arc. And I really appreciate that. I love it when storylines span across a season, even if this wasn't quite that big. But on its own, this was still a really cool pair of episodes. A lot of nice visuals, tons of new characters, Starlight was great here, and the core moral here between Twilight and her idol was really solid. The only thing in this vein that could disappoint her more is if Celestia was angry at her, or she saw that, you know, her mentor and teacher was fallible. That said though, a part of me was really hoping that there was a twist that Star Swirl was the bad guy. I think all six of them being evil would be asking too much, but if it turned out that Star Swirl specifically was the reason that Stygian turned to the dark side, or that he tricked the others into denouncing him when he knew that Stygian was not at fault, that would have really hammered in that lesson for Twilight and, and had a big effect on Equestria's history and I would have loved it. What we got was fine though. As a finale, maybe not the best with the pacing issues and just having to juggle so many characters that they were spread thin. But as an introduction to a new part of the cast, it succeeded. As well as a solid use of Starlight and a good lesson for Twilight. Looks like old dogs can learn new tricks still. This opened up a lot of doors for the future, and that will be Season 8, which is probably airing next spring, I guess? Until then, it looks like we have a hiatus on our hands. 
which is kind of okay for me because catching up with this season has not always been the wisest decision with my time constraints. But we've made it, and I would like to thank you all for watching. Until next time, remember, you are the equal of the idol who has given you your inspiration.